having known Anthony for that long and having worked with him so long, where he's at right now in life and the reputation he's created, it's very inspiring for me. I just didn't know he had footage like that. I didn't know he was working on a video part. I'll never forget when I saw that for the first time, just thinking, man, I cannot even believe that he's going this hard still. Not that I would have ever not expected that from him, but I think taking a break from being around Anthony all the time and then seeing him come through with something like that at this point in his life just blew me away. He's charging, going full speed. He's got a very specific approach to skateboarding that's just his own. Skateboarding is so central to who he is, you know, and skating well. It's such a part of him being a complete person. And then just seeing him with just how F.A. is doing and with his family and everything, it just really makes me happy. <music> Having known someone for that long and experienced as much as we did together, seeing that part cemented his status as being one of the greats, I think. You know, and I'm not going to speak for Anthony, but I have spent a lot of time with him. And everybody has their own thing in them, which pushes them to do what they do. Skateboarding, how it fits into his life and why it's so important to him comes from somewhere really deep inside. He has this like drive to do it. He's like that with everything. He needs to push himself. And I think that defines him in a lot of ways. And I think that's kind of where this part comes from. He needs to go out into the street and film. He needs to physically exert himself. Ultimately, it was probably really hard for me to think about anything beyond the switchback nose blunt before I started thinking about the fact that that fucking green bench was back in action again. That's like 21, 22 years ago. They first stole that thing. I was around, but I wasn't part of the actual heist. I mean, I was there the first day it was there. You know, when we had that bench at that first spot downtown LA, people were trying to steal it then. I think we locked it to this weird random thing. He like switched crooked grinded, but then eventually someone stole it. <laughs> It's just like such an Anthony thing to have a fucking giant, heavy, curved steel bench that you're like lugging around. I feel like it's so like metaphorical for how he is as a person and as a skateboarder. He sort of needs that thing that's like so fucking inconvenient and difficult, but still you got to just drag it out. That's just him. It's like the torture. Fuck you, man. Fuck. It's not like he likes torturing himself, but he thrives off getting through that torture into triumph. And I think that bench is definitely torturous on a lot of levels and has been for him. And just to do what he did with it. And then what that bench went on to kind of do is pretty amazing. Ha, ha, ha.